and welcome to my channel, Andra Makes. Today, I'm excited to share with you what I made for the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge that is being hosted by Natita from So Natural Dane. I'll put a link to her channel in the description box. I also have an interview with her on my channel and I will put a link to that video in the description box as well. But this is her fifth year hosting this challenge and if you're watching this before midnight, February 28th, you still have time to enter. So easy to enter. She has amazing prizes if you're motivated by prizes. But all you have to do is make a pattern. It doesn't have to be a garment. It can be a quilt, crochet, knit, a bag, a wallet, anything, as long as you use a pattern that's designed by a black pattern designer. That's it. And Natita has tons of links to patterns and all that stuff. And I'll put, like I said, a link to her channel in the description box. So easy to enter. So you still have time if you're watching this by midnight, February 28th, because that's the deadline. And all you have to do is post whatever you made on Instagram, tag Natita, and use the hashtag BHM Pattern Designers. That's it. Super duper easy. But this is my first year entering, and I'm so excited because I already have this pattern. It was given to me by my sweet friend Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. I'll link her channel in the description box as well. I was excited that I already had a pattern to use, and I already had fabric in my stash. I've had it a couple of pieces I've had for several months, and then one piece I've had for a couple years, and I had plans already to make something with that fabric. But when I picked the pattern that I was going to use, I started going through my fabric stash and picked these three and they coordinate perfectly. I bought them all at separate times with different plans to make something else with them, but it just all came together and I love how it turned out. I was a little short on one piece of fabric, but I was able to work that out with a design choice and I'll share all that with you. But the pattern I made is Simplicity 1945. This is by Kalia Ali. It's from 2011 and it's a wardrobe piece. And this is my first time making a wardrobe piece. I love this pattern so much. All three pieces, even though they are simple, they're gorgeous. And you can mix and match depending on your fabric choice, which is what I chose to do. I can wear them all together or I can separate them. So versatile. This is amazing for beginners. And even though the design and construction is really simple, it really packs a punch. I just think it's gorgeous. But here is the pattern. And I made these three pieces, the jacket and the drapey cowl neck top and the pants and this top is gorgeous also. You see the side ruching there, the gathering, and then the gathering along the front of the shoulders. I just think that is so pretty and I also have plans to make the skirt. So I'm going to be going over the pattern envelope with you, showing you the pattern pieces, showing you the garments up close on a hanger, inserting pictures of me wearing it, and also inserting footage of me trying it on for you. And a little sidebar before we get started on that, the fabric I had left over from the pants, I had just enough to make this top that I'm wearing and it is Butterick 6847. And I made this view. And this is the fabric that I made my pants from. It's a double brush poly. I think it's a snake print. What do you think? But I got it from Joanne. Like I said, I've had it several months. I had planned to make a dress with it. But this is just adding another piece to that wardrobe for mixing and matching. If I wear this with the pants, it will be like a faux jumpsuit look. So now let's go over the pattern envelope and I will pop up a picture right here of the envelope so you can see it as I'm talking. This has an amazing size range. It goes from a 10 to a 28W and that covers a bust of 32 and a half to 50 inches, a waist of 25 to 44 inches and hips of 34 and a half inches to 52 inches. And the finished bust measurements are 33 inches to 50 and a half inches and the finished hip measurements are 38 and a half inches to 56 inches. So a fabulous size range there. And the only notions you'll need are thread 
and if you make the skirt or the pants you'll need one and a half inch wide elastic and depending on the size you're making you'll need anywhere from one and a half yards to one and three quarter yards and then if you make the top that had the ruching on the sides and the gathering on the front of the shoulders you'll need some seam binding and the fabric suggestions are stretch knits but for the pants and skirt, you can also use lightweight wovens like chalet and cotton lawn, crepe back satin, silk rayon, and linen types. So that's really versatile as well. I'm not going to go over all the yardage requirements because that's a lot for all those pieces, but I will do it this way. I usually make size 14 in big four unless it says it's close fitting. So for the jacket and pants, I made a size 14, but for the top, the I'll show you the pattern piece when the waist curves in like that, I usually size up because I don't like anything close fitting like that. And I'm glad I did, it fits perfectly. And you'll see that when I try it on for you. But I made the size 16 in that top. So for the size 14 cardigan for 60 inch wide fabric, I used two and an eighth yards. And for the top in the size 16 for 60 inch wide fabric, I used two yards. And for the pants, size 14 for 60 inch wide fabric, I used two and a quarter yards. Although I only had two yards because I bought it previously with plans to make something else. So I had to make a design choice, like I said. And if you have any questions about anything that I perhaps didn't cover, leave those in the comments and I will answer as best I can. So now I'm gonna show you the pattern pieces. You won't believe this for an entire wardrobe, for a jacket, a top, and a pair of pants, it's just 10 pattern pieces. You cannot beat that. There's only two pattern pieces for the pants, three pattern pieces for the jacket, and five pattern pieces for the top. And I'm really impressed with the top because it has a two-piece sleeve front and back, and I'll show that to you. So that is just an added extra touch, I think. It kicks it up a notch, and it would also be fun for color blocking. So now I'm gonna show you the pattern pieces for the top. This is the front pattern piece, and you will cut this on the fold. And here is the curve I was telling you about. Anytime I see that, I will either straighten that out or go up a size. And here's the back piece, and you'll cut one of these on the fold. And then here's the sleeve front piece. This is where I was telling you it has a two-piece sleeve, which I really like. You'll cut two of these, mirror image. And then here's the sleeve back piece, and you'll cut two of these mirror image. Okay, look at this thing. This is the collar. Look how huge this is. You'll cut one of these. This is why it has such amazing drape because this pattern piece is huge, totally worth it. And speaking of drape, obviously the lighter weight and drapier your, your fabric is, the more your cowl will drape and also the waterfall front of the cardigan. I used more stable knits for mine. I used a cotton jersey for the top. It's like a really nice upscale t-shirt you would find. It's that type fabric, I love it. Um, all the fabric came from Joanne, and then the fabric I used for the cardigan is a French terry. So neither of those have a tremendous amount of drape, but they still look nice, I think. So keep that in mind, the look you want when you choose your fabric. And then here are the pattern pieces for the jacket. This is the front pattern piece, and you'll cut two of these, mirror image. And then here's the back pattern piece, and you'll cut one of these on the fold. And then this is the back facing piece, and you'll cut one of these. And this just goes across the back neckline on the jacket. And then for the pants pattern pieces, I'm just going to show them to you on the line drawing because they're just your typical pants pattern pieces, and they're pretty large, so it would be difficult for me to hold them up and show them to you. But here they are pieces 14 and 15. And I love the fit of these pants. I just think the width is perfect. They're not too wide, not too narrow. They're the Goldilocks pants, in my opinion. So now I'm going to show you my jacket, top, and pants. Here's the top. It's a black, very nice, substantial cotton knit that I got from Joanne, and then you can see that fab cowl 
drapey collar and the two-piece sleeve. There is the seam for it. I really like that a lot. And then I could get all fancy and say I used a contrasting thread for the hem of the bottom of the shirt and the sleeves, which it is contrasting, but I was just too lazy to change my thread. So that's the reality of what happened there. But a very nice, super versatile top. And then here are the pants in that snake print. I think it's snake. Do you? Oh, I forgot to say earlier that the pants did not have pockets, but I added pockets. And there they are. I just used a pocket pattern piece from another pattern and added pockets. So I have to have pockets. There's the elasticized waistband. And the back, and here's my design choice. I didn't have enough fabric for the length of pants I needed. So I added a cuff hemband using the fabric from the top that I had left over. So design choice there that worked out well. And then here is my jacket in that French terry that I got from Joanne in this lavendery color. And then here is the back facing piece. It's got the extended bat wing sleeve. And then there's the waterfall in the front. And like I said, depending on your fabric choice, we'll determine how waterfally that is. So now I'm going to insert pictures of me wearing everything and then also inserting footage of me trying it on for you. to wear it with just the top first so you can see how that looks and then I'll put the jacket on with it but you can see that pretty draped cowl neckline and then I hope you can see the two-part sleeve right there there's the seam I just think that is so nice and such a nice touch and I'll get up on the steps so you can see the entire thing here it is keep in mind I'm 5'11 this is where the shirt hits on me and then there are the pants with the pockets I added and then where I added the cuff at the bottom to make them long enough and here's the back and now I'll put the jacket on so you can see what that looks like okay here it is with the jacket you can see the pretty waterfall in the front in the sleeves and now here's the back so I am really pleased with how this turned out and I will be able to get so much use out of this wearing it together and then separating it and wearing with all kinds of different things let me know what you think thanks so much for watching see you next time bye